Let's use the logic analyzer with some I square C signal. In the past, I've built a, a small project with uh, basically two uh, stepper motor controller uh, on a board and uh, an analog output to this BNC on the right. And this analog was generated by this uh, simple stamp. It's a DAC that is controlled over I square C. And this is what we are going to capture today. Um, the uh, on top of it, I have the uh, uh, connect ticks to to make sure it's easy to connect to the logic analyzer. Basically, a, a set of uh, ground on one side and the logic or the signal that you want to capture on the other side, so it's easy to hook up to simple and small cable that you could lightly twist to uh, try to reduce a little bit of noise. And on top of that, also. Using the side of it, I have a probe that is uh, looking at it. First thing, first we will look at the sample and the um, and the amplitude of the signal. So, uh, analog two is the uh, output of the uh, DAC, and on probe one we got serial clock. And uh, first thing is to start this device. I know it's very long. Uh, the startup but basically generate the voltage so it's uh, something like one second of analog output to uh, generate some amplitude from the start and then at some point it receives a command and set the voltage to zero uh, on the serial clock there is not no information until the device is completely started but at some point it reset the amplitude to command that we see over here, serial command is sending information to the board and then the board reset the amplitude. So that's the starting point of the information. First thing we need to reduce to 100 milliseconds because that's the limit of uh, maximum time that we could use the logic analyzer.